Um, we make sure that people have healthcare in place. Um, you know, Nigeria is not easy, uh, healthcare is not cheap. So we make sure we have good healthcare plans for most of them. At Under 40 CEOs, we really do care not just about empowering the next generation of business leaders, but about securing the future of young men and women who work with us to deliver on the vision. We speak to a number of our under 40 CEOs who are leading the charge in not just empowering their team, but securing their future. You really should hear them out and learn not only to take care of your team, but also secure their future. So the next time they ask, who cares? Just tell them, under 40 CEOs care. Hello, Fat 40 team. My name is Larry Akinlagi. I run uh, Drinks.ng, uh, the largest uh, multi channel uh, beverage distribution company in Nigeria. Um, when I say beverage uh, distribution, we, we have a stake in uh, e commerce. Um, I, I would uh, you know, easily say we are the biggest e commerce pure play um, drinks distribution company online in Nigeria. Um, we cover territories across the whole of Nigeria. Uh, the largest being Central Nigeria, Southwest as well. Uh, and we're moving into other territories quite aggressively. We also have um, a large chain of retail stores and we, and we recently just launched the first uh, wholesale only store in Nigeria um, located in Ibadan. Um, and there's more to come. We, you know, we hope to build about four or five of those in the coming months, uh, or at least before the end of this year. The ways we ensure that uh, staff are taken care of at work, I mean, first of all, I mean, we, we have good policies in the office to make sure that people are able to air their, their grievances in terms of if they have their family problems at home, uh, their health, uh, and we know the conditions of living in Lagos alone or in some of our other offices in Abuja, um, Ibadan, or some of the other places. Uh, working conditions uh, are made sure that they're of the utmost high standard for people. Uh, you know, getting to work as well, sometimes we can be a bit more flexible, especially after what's happened with the COVID um, sort of pandemic, which has made uh, life a bit more difficult for everybody. But I mean, for us, we're a bit more prepared because of our e-commerce business, so it made it a bit easier. Um, we make sure that people have healthcare in place. Um, you know, Nigeria is not easy, uh, healthcare is not cheap. So we make sure we have good healthcare plans for most of them. Um, you know, pension schemes have been put in place. Um, we're trying to improve on those because we have to take the future of our employees um, a lot more seriously um, to make sure that they're also catered for. A lot of staff um, stay around, they're, they're happy here. Um, so it's important for us to make sure that we're growing that they're growing with us, but also their, their welfare and health is taken care of as well. How staff are paid. Generally, we'll start from how they've negotiated their salary into the company, what role they play in the company. Um, are they revenue generating? Are they operational? Um, but one thing that I can say we do do is um, predominantly we're a company that deals with sales, whether it be in online, offline, or in distribution, or the stores. We make sure we put bonus structures in place for everybody, regardless of what they're being paid. So to make sure that there's that little bit of an extra buffer. So what kind of benefits do they enjoy? F first of all, they get drinks. <laughs> Every Friday we have drinks. Uh, I mean, a lot of the beverage companies send us drinks. A lot of people try to sell drinks, bring drinks for us. So there's always, there's drinks lying around all the time. So they get to enjoy uh, drinking a lot uh, for those that drink. Every quarter, uh, we tend to go out as a team. Um, you know, we work with a lot of businesses, uh, a lot of different bars, restaurants. So a lot of guys uh, either don't get a chance to go to these places or can't afford to go to these places. So we make sure every quarter we all go out as a team and we generally go to our customers' businesses as well. So that's also a way of us giving back to our customers by spending money with them. But it's also a way of our team also being able to enjoy some of the finer things in life, some of the finer outlets, but also knowing the places that they work with and understanding what they do. Um, we also try to have discussions about how they can invest more in their lives. So at the moment, I'm, I'm, I'm big on investing. A um, lot of uh, stocks, a uh, lot of uh, you know, investments in crypto as well. Um, so I try to educate them about that as well. So that kind of helps with their long-term welfare rather than just thinking of that month-to-month -month survival with their money. Uh, try to help them think outside the box and think more long-term. The business has a strong focus in growth. Uh, we, we really want to make sure as we are growing, staff are growing, 
um, they're, they're being promoted, they're getting more salaries, they get more autonomy. Um, we spend a lot of money on training. Um, so even just, you know, today we've been here, uh, they put a training plan together for the customer service team. Uh, there's basic Excel, Microsoft uh, training that a lot of them would go on. Um, you know, this, this is all personal development that even when you're not here, you can take with you. The retirement plans we have for our staff, um, I'll be honest, um, I don't even think I have too much of one for myself, but I mean, we're hustling, we're on the grind and we're trying to grow um, uh, more and more every day. Now, um, people already have pension plans in place. Um, we, we, as I said before, people, we make sure we try to educate them on investing. But um, we also try to give out equity from the business to some members of the staff that have shown uh, longitude, that have shown commitment. Um, but we also support those that also try to move on. Um, I have a lot of friends in the country and in various industries. Some people may choose to go a different direction. Some people may choose to uh, try something else. And I introduce them to people I help, I put good words in. Uh, obviously, if you're good working staff, if not, no. But yeah, uh, we try to do stuff like that. So pension, pension schemes are already in place for us. Um, to be honest with you, HR really recommends a lot of those, those, those schemes because um, they're better equipped to come up with the decisions uh, of what, what the best direction, best schemes to go with. Um, so they look at the you know, best value for money for some of these guys, they look at the best return on investment from the pension fund themselves um, and they make sure that some of these guys' monies are not in a difficult or, or badly run pension scheme. So I think a lot of those things are taken into consideration when picking the pension fund, how long they've been around, how long, how stable their organization is as well. Because at the end of the day, it's it's the money that people have worked their life for that you're putting that money into. So we also owe them a responsibility to make sure we're not just going for the cheapest or the easiest contributed pension fund, we're going for the most secure one long-term for them. It's, it's important to have a retirement plan for our staff, but it's, re it's important to have a retirement plan, period. Um, we live in very unpredictable times, um, uh, including our, our dear country here, Nigeria. Um, but, you know, everybody believes that they're the strongest man and woman ever and they're going to live forever. The honest truth is we're not. Um, uh, old age, I can, I can assure you, creeps up on you. You don't know it's coming. Um, and, and people need to understand that you need to start preparing for those times um, because you just don't know when they're coming. You, you just keep working and working and working your whole life and you've always got these goals that you're chasing um, but we're so fixated on those goals that we don't realise what happens if we get to the goal but also what happens if we don't get to the goal. There, there has to be a plan for or a contingency plan for either one of those situations. Um, so. It, it's good It's good, and it's important that we educate them, but we're also educating ourselves on the matter and try to spread that knowledge throughout the staff. Look, based on the growth of our business, uh, those that stay with us, the, the, the future looks very, very, very bright. Um, a lot of people are, are, are seeing returns within themselves and their bank accounts. Um, and the more we grow, the more they'll see of that. Um, they know the kind of boss I am. They know the way I run business. I'm, I'm very much a sharer and carer um, as long as you're part of that growth story. So, you know, we run a very conservative office. We work very hard. We, we demand hard work. But I also demand reward for everybody as well and to make sure that the work environment is, is good enough for them to be able to excel and grow in. So as long as you're part of the winning team, which we are, um, their, their, their future looks bright. Updates on the RSA transfer requests that have been submitted are given to the customers by two key methods. The first is via emails, and this is sent to the email that you provided at the time that you initiated the transfer request. The second method of communication about the status of transfers is supplied by SMS messages. And this is done by both the transferring and the receiving PFAs to the telephone number supplied upon the initiation of the request.